What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing good. We are back in Ukraine again after things that had happened a few days ago with the African president that went to Ukraine and Russia hoping to achieve a peace agreement between the two countries. A lot of things have happened and I'd like us to look at this very interesting view of Mikhailo Podolyak, who is a Ukrainian politician. He's made a very interesting, spicy comment. He said, African leaders have no power and capacity or competence to resolve this crisis. African leaders have no power, capacity, or competence to resolve this crisis. So they are not very... They are only doing this for geopolitical goals, including receiving resources from Russia and primitive information gathering on behalf of the Kremlin. Doesn't sound good. So we're going to listen to him uh, from the horse's mouth. I'll make a comment right after. Let's go. Ukraine says African states don't have the power or the capability to resolve the conflict saying that they're only using the visits for their own geopolitical goals. The African delegation had no goal for settling the conflict or finding a solution. Obviously, this is not their task. It's not on their level or their competency. It's not on their level or their competency. Not on their level. Level. Did he say level? Wow. What level are you on? They just want to be on the information agenda and resolve their own issues, like increasing the amount of resources they receive primarily from Russia, including food supplies. So we are poor, we're looking for food. They had to do was that information task in favor of Russia, by saying they don't see any missile in the air, that it all was an abstraction, a fabrication. This was a primitive attempt to win at information warfare. Earlier, we spoke to geopolitical analyst Joe Malanga, who suggested why Kiev continues to reject various peace plans, whether they come from Africa, China, or even the Pope. John KB in Pentagon said, um, we are not in favor of peace. We are not in favor of any ceasefire that should be happening in Ukraine. So that should be, that is a senior spokesperson for Pentagon. They don't want anything that has got to do with uh, peace as far as Russia is concerned. The West was saying, this is what we've been waiting for. We've been pumping money. We've been pumping the military hardware to benefit the military industrial complex. So it's got nothing to do with Ukraine. Everything has got to do with what Washington, London, Brussels, whatever that they want to achieve. But it's not necessarily helping the actual citizens of Ukraine. That's the unfortunate part about this conflict. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to play this guy again. I, I really want you to listen to him. This guy said this is not at African president level. It's not on their level or their competency. Level? It's not at their level? Not at their level? So what level are we on? I mean, do you remember that video of that guy? The video of the American security and... Uh, intelligence personnel who say that Poland is the most racist country in Europe, just second to Ukraine. Poland is one of the most racist nations on the planet. The most racist people in Europe, second only the Ukrainians. Do you remember that? Do you hear this guy say? He doesn't even hide it. It's not at their level. So they're just trying to gain resources, including food. So you just came here to look for food. I mean, because you know Africa is a poor continent. People just die of food. We don't have food. We sleep hungry. We wear clothes from branches and, you know, and leaves. We don't have clothes. We, we don't have internet. We walk on horses and not even horses, elephants. There's no running water here. There's no meat. So we have to go to Russia to get some food. And this is not at their level. Let's play this game. The African delegation had no goal for settling the conflict or finding a solution. Obviously, this is not their task. It's not on their level or their competency. This is not their task. It's not at their level or their competency. Don't, their brain is not good enough to resolve this. It's not at their level. It's not their task. They just, they just want to be on the information. They just want to be on the information. Because they don't have information and channels in the countries. They need to come here so they can be broadcast all over the world. ...agenda and resolve their own issues, like increasing the amount of resources they receive primarily from Russia, including food supplies. The They're looking to get resources they get from Russia, including food supply. Food supp so do you guys get food supply from Russia? I didn't know that. The most important thing that they had to do was the information task in favor of Russia, by saying they don't see any missile in the air, that it all was an abstraction a fabrication. This was a primitive attempt to win at information warfare. A primitive attempt to win at information warfare. Look at him. Look, first, look how he's pulling his face. 
This is a primitive attempt to win the information warfare. This is it's like you're smelling. Just talking about your subject is like you are smelling. This is a primitive attempt to win an information war. Primitive, not even an attempt. A primitive attempt. <laughs> oh, my man. I mean, love yourself, brothers. Put yourself first. That's what I'm going to say. Put yourself first. And again, if people don't call you to go resolve the issues, you mustn't go, do, go, and go try and do it. I can understand if they went there for some other reasons. But if you went there to resolve their issue, I think that wasn't a good choice. And like they said very clearly, this is beyond Kiev decision. It's not within the hands of Ukrainians anymore. This have everything to do with the Western countries. They're going to choose when the war ends, when their goals are achieved. This has nothing to do with Ukraine anymore. It's well beyond them. And it's very sad. Like I said again, you need to open your eyes. When somebody shows you what color is, don't try paint him a different color. I'll show you that I'm color red. Don't paint me white. No, don't do that. I already showed you. Okay. Listen to how people talk about you. I mean, look at the attitude with which the president of Africa were received in Ukraine. Just look at the attitude. I'm just saying. Just look at the way. Just compare the way they were in Russia. And I have no, no sympathy with Russia. Absolutely not. Like, boy, what has Russia done for me? Nothing. And we're just talking there clearly. Look at the way they were received in Russia compared to the way they were in Ukraine. You, you could see like, why are you here? It's like somebody had to say, you know what? Just let them be. They're going to be here for a few hours. They'll go. Don't chase them. Just let them be. They're like, you are unwanted. Look, just look. Now, this guy just comes and confirms. You, you think this guy would speak like this out of nothing? If they've never had a meeting or discussion or anything of that sort within themselves? Just remember what happens. I mean, if you want to know what's going to happen in the future, look at the past. It's as simple as that. When the war started, they refused Africans to leave Ukraine. They refused them to leave, to get in the trains. They said to them, women and children first. In the meantime, some women presented themselves pregnant. They refused them to get on the train. They're not telling you this is a primitive attempt to win information war. This is beyond your level. It's not on your level. This is not on your level. Go. You're looking for publicity. You want to be on the information. Because wherever you are, you don't have news channels and stuff like that. You, you don't even have access to YouTube or wherever. You know, you need to come here, come next to us so you can be on the information. This has nothing to do with you. I'm telling it like it is, brother. Can you see? I'm not creating, inventing anything. Look at this guy's face, the way he's talking. Look at how he's talking. It's very sad. Love yourself, fellas. Stop treating people the way they don't treat you. Stop doing that. Stop giving people honors and all that accolade and receiving and accepting people the way we always do. While in the meantime, look how we treated in India. Look how our people are treated in Lebanon. Look at how our people are treated in the United States of America. But police, stop closing your eyes. Stop blinding yourself to the reality. And it's very sad the same president went to Europe in France. Go cry Charlie Abdo went. <laughs> In the same time, in the meantime, in Africa, many wars, many situations are happening. We have not seen this president go and walk and try to find peace agreement. Good for you, primitive attempt for peace. Hmm.